for caring. And there you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, have you been able to post them yet, or are they still not going up? So they are. Okay, cool. I haven't even seen any of them yet. Are they on the YouTube page? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, uh, we have. Well, Jeff is is Betty coming? I feel like yeah, we should, should wait. For her. Should we start without her, or is she, she going to be out here in a sec? No, yeah, she'll be out in a sec. But you, we can start without her. We can start stretching, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's get some normal stuff in uh, first. Uh, really fast, Miriam, Mom, and Jeff. Um, any injuries? You guys doing okay? Same. Just yeah, same. Beautiful. Feeling well, amazing is what you meant to say. Feeling there was a bad man on Friday that hurt my glutes. Oh boy, <laughs> dang glutes. Okay, uh, take a look at it. Really. Um, it's Monday, nine o'clock class. Let's get it in uh, with equipment uh, and. <laughs> A whole bunch, I guess the leading factor will be the strict pull-ups, and we'll talk about that in a sec. But if you have equipment today, some of this stuff we can mix and match. It's going to be a 15-minute workout. So it's as ascending ladder, which means we're going to keep adding reps until the 15 minutes goes through. Uh, we're going to start off with 2-2-2. Two, two, two. We're going to go strict pull-ups, single arm squat cleans. I'll go over that with the dumbbell or a kettlebell, and then either the kettlebell or dumbbell facing burpee here. So we have those three movements, and we're just going to add two reps to that block of movement. So we're going to add two reps and keep going until the remaining 15 minutes expires. Um, one caveat too, other than adding the two reps, you guys can also decide how you guys wanna do the single arm squat cleans. Uh, and that's dependent on what arms you wanna use. If you wanna do it all on one side, do it all on the other, switch every round, or <clears throat> put it up in half within the rounds. It's totally up to you guys here. Um, with the Without equipment version, uh, what you're gonna need, and it says odd object because people have different things. Uh, whether that's like a water jug or uh, cleaning jugs or like backpacks, which is what I'll be showing you guys today. Uh, we'll go two, 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 same thing. Odd objects, bench over rows. We did this last week with a backpack uh, and I'm probably going to do it the same way, but I could show you guys variations with a dumbbell, with a kettlebell that you guys can do rows instead. Uh, we'll do goblet squats and bar facing, or I'm not sorry, not bar facing, odd object facing burpees. And then same thing. We'll just add two reps to each block and continue to do that until the 15 minutes is up. So uh, basically the same workout. We're just switching up a couple of the moving patterns for some of the people that don't have a pull-up bar like my mom does. She has one uh, in the door jam. So those old school ones, if you guys got that, it's great. Um, there are some kind of other options. I'll showcase a couple of them about how you can do pulling stuff without maybe having a pull-up bar. You might have to get a little creative for it though. Uh, with that said, uh, let's move around a little bit. Uh, if you guys can, uh, either just set a clock for two minutes. If you can go for a jog, great. If you can't, let's go two minutes of just jumping jacks, and then we'll meet back here and do our normal stretching. <coughs> sure. You can just set it up right there. Mm -hmm. I gotta do something, there's only one rock. Easier last week. You said two minutes. I don't want you adding my rowing.
All right, well, you guys, uh, if you guys are back in here, uh, let's go ahead and drop it on down. Let's go a couple squats to stands, and we'll go right into some hip flow work. Normal stuff for you guys today. Uh, when you guys are going through your hip flow, it's really make sure we open up the hips a bit, get those glute bridges in. Uh, and uh, let's hold some of those positions in for that uh, hip flow. So a couple squats to stands first, feet just outside the hips. Grab those toes, bring that butt on down. Use the arms to drive the knees out. Chest nice and tall, and then hips back on up, stretching out those hamstrings. We'll go nice and easy for about five. Feel free, turn to rotate if you like. And then let's drop on down to some hip flow. We'll start in that plank position. I'll show you guys from a couple different angles, but feel free to follow along. Or you guys can move up on your own. Bring hips down and go hips back on up. Take care of those calves a little bit with some bicycle pedals. Then we'll go big strider lunge. Either side is good, left or right side first is fine. Because we got some squatting today, let's throw in that glute stretch as well. Just make sure you even it out on the other side. Finish up that last hip flow wherever you guys are at, and let's go take it straight to the backside. We'll go straight leg raises and iron crosses, about five to eight reps each on each side for each movement, please. Can I say something? Huh? My biceps are jacked from Saturday. Yeah? Was that the, that was the fight gone bad one, right? Oh my God, my foot, the, no, the Tabata one. Oh, yeah, 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 I didn't do that one. My foot, are, like right here, oh my gosh. <laughs> They're in so much pain right now. And then, folks, when you guys finish up with that, let's go a couple of glute bridges. Coach Warren mentioned that his hips are a little tight, so let's open those up a little bit by opening up <clears throat> with some glute stretches. We'll do about 10 or so. But you're going to be close up to your butt here, starting in this nice resting position. Hands can be on the floor if you need extra help. We're just going to push, squeeze, bring those hips on up, then exhale on the way back down. 
Now, when you guys are bringing those hips up, think about driving the knees out a little bit as well. And then we really should feel that big squeeze, kind of like where your butt has that indentation on the side, kind of where that glute medius is that helps with external rotation, the big mover in that squat, even though it's kind of a small piece compared to your speed. And then from the very end, if you guys want to add in some egg rolls, you can jump the floor for this. You can push back, roll. And when you come through a nice and easy sit stretch, and you can mix and match that too. You can reach to one side, pull back, reach to the other side. And then move through the middle. If rolling back with legs up is too hard, you can kind of bring the knees in. There's just some easy, nice, uh, we used to call this crack the egg when you were on the trampoline. But you guys can make that a little bit smaller of a movement as needed. If you need to, take a minute or two, grab a drink. I'm going to write a small warm up on the board for you guys. Keep moving a little bit. When you guys get back in, do me a favor, unmute yourself, just so I know you guys are back. And then I'll ask you guys a couple questions and then we'll get you guys started. Hi, Dustin. Oh, Miss Betty. Hello. Nice hoodie. How, how are your, you? How was your bread? Oh, it was good. I sliced it up that day. Your, your lasagna was great. Oh, good. I'm glad. I got leftovers yesterday. Jeff saved me some. <laughs> I was hoping that last you guys a little bit. I don't know if saved is the right word. I'm a bariatric patient, so I couldn't eat it all. <laughs> saved, couldn't eat it all, kind of the same thing. It made three meals for us. Now, did you make the lasagna hey, or buy the lasagna? I know. I was thinking about you guys inspired me to maybe do some grilled cheese options later today. There you go. You need more bread? Grilled cheese was good. Mom, uh, can you unmute yourself if you're ready to go? Here. Which one is yours? That one on the car. Yeah. And then we're just waiting on Warren right now. Um, I was talking to Miriam earlier about what kind of stuff you guys might need today. Um, what I think what I'll do too is on the whiteboards, I'll just kind of start writing like your grocery list of things just so you guys can take a look at it and then refer back to it. But um, today, if you're doing with the equipment, um, ideally you'd have something to do pull-ups with or some type of rowing with. Um, my mom, if you guys can see in that, uh, in that uh, doorway, she has one of those old school uh, pull-up bars. Uh, that go into the door jam those are great for right now honestly you probably can't find them anywhere but they're or they're a million dollars but uh if you have one of those that's a great option for working on pull-ups right now even if you don't have them um what i started on with was like i would have that door jam pull-up bar and i have like a chair underneath me i use that as, a, as an assist i basically stand on the chair and kind of like what you guys do uh with the bands or the boxes kind of use it that way um, but if we don't have that um, we are going to look at some type of bent over row option, whether that's with your backpack. So if you have a backpack handy, I'd fill it up with some stuff. Um, you're also going to need to squat with it too. So make sure it's a good weight for both movements. You don't want it so heavy for the bent over row that you can't squat with it or vice versa. If you're uh, not as strong in the legs, but stronger in the arms. If you do have some equipment, we could look at a dumbbell or a kettlebell and that should see you through most of the stuff here today. Uh, but I also have a wall ball behind me and I'll go over some other options that'll kind of simulate if you have a wall ball or a medicine ball, something like that, we could do that too. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the movements or I'm sorry, my bad. Is Warren back yet? Warren is not back yet. Okay. For warm up, and I'm going to go over these things before we get started, just for those that uh, don't know these things. Uh, we're just going to two rounds. So nice and easy. And I don't want you to go super fast quite yet. Maybe in the second round you can, but first round, take it slow. 
We're gonna go three and three. The numbers are three, six, nine. We're gonna go three and three single arm rows, or you can do dual rows. Uh, that just means if you have a backpack, you'll do it in both arms. But I'm gonna show you guys what that is in a second. We have some burpees here too. So I do want to warm those up because we do have potentially a lot of them coming up. And then air squats. And then when you guys go into the air squats, the way I want you guys to go through them, other than squatting well, getting below parallel and standing up all the way, is I want you guys to focus on changing where your feet are occasionally, either the way you're angling them, like toe out more or toe in more, or even the width, wider or narrower, and then even staggered, like maybe one foot in front, one foot behind kind of stuff. And just mixing and matching once in a while. Not that that's the way you're going to squat all the time, but just to kind of warm up the like corner pieces of your squat without having to do these big mobility pieces that we maybe not have equipment for or time for. Uh, so this is the warm up again, two rounds, you're going to go three, six, nine, single arm rows, burpees and air squats. Let me show you guys that really fast. Okay, so if you guys have an object that's single arm, like kettlebells or kettlebells, for the warm up and even in for the uh, workout for the bent over row, we're just going to hit pins with a soft knee bend here. And we're just going to row all the way and elbow as high as I can, as close to the armpit as I can, and back down. In the wall, you'll do three on one side, you'll just switch hands, hit three on the other. From the front, all that looks like it's here. Again, not super tabletop necessarily, maybe a slight raise of the chest, and you're just going to row in. Again, if you have a kettlebell, same kind of thing. It's just a little bit lower away with the handle here. You're going to row up, get from the side, here. <laughs> if you have a backpack, I cinch in my handles all the way. So instead of my making my backpack like big, the big loop, I bring it all the way in just so that it's closer to me if I can. You'll take the straps in both hands here. And the same kind of thing from the front, we're just gonna row up high. And from the side, same thing. So in the warm up right now, you'll just do three of these. That's fine. Instead of doing three on each side. Um, for the burpees, normal standards for the burpees. Just as I push the ground, kick back. Come back on up. Often the scale for this stuff, if you're not used to going all the way down, having a hard time going all the way down, pressing back up, you can just kick out to a plank and walk back up in. Small little jump and clap. Either of those two will be good options, uh, the latter being a scaling option versus the normal movie. The last one will be air squats again. Try like a narrow stance. Try a wide stance. Try an off staggered stance. And you're still doing your best to keep weight in the heels. Drive the knees out and keep that chest tall. We're just going to do that for two rounds. Again, it's three rowing options, either single arm, three on each side, or if you have like a backpack or something, you'll do three total, six burpees, and then nine air squats. I'll see you guys in about five minutes. Three rows, six burpees, nine airs. Uh -huh. Now, when you guys get done with that second round, I want you to try your best to go and set up the equipment you need, whether you need to grab a couple different dumbbells or kettlebells, whether you need to get a new backpack and kind of weight that up. Please do that when you guys get done with the second round. I'll meet you guys back here. Thank 
squares, why don't you? Because they're not set up. Um, what do you want? I'm going to say, why don't you use that to make it more cushy for you? I'm good now. All right, the clock says 926 right now. Take the next four minutes, stretch out a little extra if you need it and then kind of uh, grab whatever equipment you might need. Now's a good time to ask me some questions. So whether you unmute yourself and ask or type it in the chat box, either one works good, but we'll meet back up in, uh, like I said, four minutes. And then we'll start going over the workout one last time and then we'll uh, get to it. I have a question. Uh, yes, Miriam. So I have the dumbbell or kettlebell. So what do I do for the pull-ups? I don't have a pull-up bar. You'll do the exact same thing that you did for the warm-up is you'll go single arm rows. Um, okay. In the first round, it says two. So just do one on each side. And then you right. just increase that as you go through. OK. <clears throat> Are your dumbbell and kettlebell the same weight by any chance? Uh, let's see, 25, no. The kettlebell is the yellow one. Is that 35? OK, I was going to say, if you had two of the same weight objects, you could do them together, almost. Okay. Um, you, yeah, that won't really work with the dumbbell and kettlebell. Um, yeah, just do single arm. Um, if you if you want to, you could, if the dumbbell is light for you, you feel like it's kind of light for you, you could double up. So when it says two straight pull-ups, you could do two on each side for the okay. uh, dumbbell rows. Okay. And that might be appropriate for you. Okay. Cool. What weight uh, dumbbells you want? A thousand pounds. How about these two 25s? <laughs> yep. Or do you, you want the two 50? Of them? Perfect. The choice is the yeah, 25s. You two of them, that's great. You'll just do both at the same time instead of just one individually. Okay. And then you'll do those straight up. So you'll just do two dumbbell rows and then you're good. You'll move on and then you'll do four. So on We're done up. with this rower for a while, right? There's no more. There's no more. Just put it up in here. Um, again, when we come back in a couple minutes, you guys got about two more minutes to kind of get yourself uh, prepared. I'm gonna go over the uh, single arm squat cleans and the goblet squat since we haven't gone over them yet. And then give you guys some options. Just in case. Transparently, I wish I could tell you that warm up didn't put me really out of breath, but I didn't work out Saturday or Sunday and I feel very tired. We'll wake up. Yeah, we'll I'm wake up. To, you know what it is, Betty, is you're not here to supply the coffee anymore and it's an issue. Well, that's not my fault. Maybe you need a kettlebell. It's also not my fault. I didn't create the coronavirus. <sighs> yes, you did. You it's gave just, it to us all. I probably, you guys are the reason why you're not sick anymore. I helped. <laughs> uh, Coach say, Warren, how you feeling? I was pretty messed up after Saturday. I didn't think it'd be messed up. <laughs> what was Saturday? It was like super. It was you know so, what, was, what was challenging it, that I didn't think it was weighted, challenging was the the, uh, was the Turkish sit-ups, man. Yeah, the Turkish. Sit I've never done those before. <laughs> so kick, at first, I was like, oh, for sure, this is easy." But then I couldn't do very much weight. <laughs> Sit up so it was, you have a weight especially on my left arm. I was like, oh, great. Here we go again. Yeah. No. All right. Everyone looks to be here. Betty, Betty didn't get to see the Turkish sit-ups. Could uh, both you and Dustin, or Warren and Dustin, demonstrate those real quick? Because Betty can uh, see we'll, them. They'll probably flow back up in a workout. They'll flow back up. Only do we'll, in if I do one Turkish sit-up, I'll just do the start portion where you just lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and then that'll be it. And then Warren can do the rest? No, sure. Next time I go to Turkey, I'll show you Turkish sit-ups right now. Oh, no. But did you see, uh, Warren, did you see my brother's post, uh, Donnie, when he was doing the uh, odd object Turkish get-ups? Uh -uh. He did oh, one with just like a rock in his hand, but then like all his friends, like they did one with a cat, like a kid, bicycle. You can do one <laughs> yeah. with a turkey in it. The little Ooh. cat. Turkey get-up. Turkey get-up. The fluffy cat. All right. Let me get you guys refocused. Glad you guys are here. Uh, again, the workout is a 15-minute 
timed workout, so we'll all be done in 15 minutes. It's an ascending ladder, so it starts with two, two, and two. If you have equipment, it's gonna be the strict pull-ups, the dumbbell squat cleans, and the dumbbell facing burpee. But the dumbbell squat clean is a single arm. You get to choose how you wanna go through it. What I would avoid would just be using your strong arm the whole time, but there might be something to be said about, you know, the last couple minutes, 30 seconds, whatever, if you need to like rep out and get as many as you can on your strong side, I mean, you'll get extra reps doing it that way. Um, typically, when the reps get a little bit bigger, like let's say six, eight, I might start looking at doing half and half. So I would do four on one side, four on the other. Um, maybe in the, you know, the first round of two, maybe you just go both quick on both sides or uh, two on one side, call it good, and then maybe start switching. Totally up to you though. There's no penalty for doing all on one side. There's no penalty on switching however you want. Because even as you like or don't, totally up to you. Uh, for the dumbbell facing burpees, we'll have a burpee, we'll face it, we'll lie down and then jump over. That'll be the only difference other than the warm up burpees that we did earlier. Um, if you don't have equipment, what might change is instead of doing strict pull ups, uh, you guys will look at some type of bent over row option. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Whether you have two dumbbells, one dumbbell, one kettlebell, a backpack with straps, you guys can go about that. And your options as you're scaling is if you want to go one on each side and keep going that way through your ladder, that's fine. If you want to do two in your first round and two on the other side, that's also okay too. It just depends on what you have. If you have a really heavy dumbbell, I suggest going just straight up numbers. So two, four, six, eight. If you have a lighter dumbbell or kettlebell or weight, then maybe double it up so you get a good stimulus out of that. But again, that's up to you guys to decide. Uh, if you go lighter, you'll maybe go further. If you go heavier, you might not get as far. Either one is appropriate for you guys. Um, let me go over the uh, single arm dumbbell cleans. And I'll do a couple maybe with the kettlebell too. They're a little bit, uh, a little bit different, but I'll go over them with you guys just in case you have only a kettlebell. So the dumbbell's gonna start on the floor. Because it's single arm, I'm gonna do it with just the dumbbell in between my legs. Usually when you do uh, dumbbell squat cleans, it might be on the outside, but this one will start inside. Hex is on the floor, I'm gonna go right to my shoulder and then squat on down. My job is to keep the elbow up with the weight supported on my shoulder. If you wanna go higher, that's okay too. I typically will drop it right here, almost as if I was doing a bar. I'll come back down, touch the ground. I have a hard time. Right back up into that squat. You get to the side, elbow high and outside, right to the shoulder, all the way down into that squat and stand. As you go to switch, you can switch in the air, switch to the other side. Now, when you're touching the ground with the dumbbell, I only need you to touch with one hex. You can lay it flat on the floor if you'd like, but I just need you to tip it, touch it on the ground once, come right back up with that. If you're going with the kettlebell option, it is a little bit more difficult because we have to turn the kettlebell in the air a little bit to sit on our wrist. Kettlebell will go here, up to the shoulder. You can squat down down this way. And this would be another way if you only have a kettlebell to be able to do it with the kettlebell. Um, if you are going with the no switch option, <clears throat> instead of squat cleans, going odd object, goblet squats, you can either hold it, you can bear hug it, do the squat down. Same thing. If you have the opportunity to use a wall ball, just be good too. Give it a big bear hug. Squat all the way down, then all the way back up. Totally fine either way. But again, we're kind of just piecing together whatever kind of stuff you have. And then as this kind of coronavirus thing kind of changes, you guys might come up on different equipment or get a little bit more creative. Okay, so the dumbbell um, was in case the kettlebells, I mean, the dumbbell gets too heavy. What, what was that, Mom? I said I can use the wall ball in case the dumbbell gets too heavy. You know, I'll you could switch that up if you need to uh, for the. Uh, Goblet squats, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, you could. You could. Um, I would say, though, if you can do them, I mean, you don't need to necessarily do them super fast, but uh, I would say at least in the first first half of this workout, I would try to take the heavier weight just because the reps are lighter. Yeah. Right? There's less volume in the beginning. Um, if you can stick with it, that's preferred. But if, if it becomes like, man, I can barely do one squat at a time with the weight you have, then I would change it and then... Okay, so that's for the goblet squats. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, uh, Miriam, Warren, Jeff, Betty, you guys have any other questions about the uh, single arm squat cleans or the goblet squats? I do, Dustin. Should I should I worry about um, holding on to something or just do the squats? Um, I would. Do you, oh, you do you have something to sit on? No. Hang it. You have no chairs in your house. If you get a chair, Miss Betty, you can treat it like how we did the box squats in the gym. Um, okay. I'll even show you with my box. 
Okay. Right? Hold on. But if you had a chair, hold on. Your dumbbell or your kettlebell for the goblet squat, you could just sit and then stand. These would be awesome. okay. Um, okay. If you don't have the kettlebell, hey, can you get can you get those for twenty four hours here? Or you guys could change it to this way. What do you want? Both hands and sit. I, I would just like to love watch your in daily interactions like throughout <laughs> the day. Okay. Cool. Can you do that? <laughs> All right. Um, for the goblet squats, we kind of just went over, but let me talk about it again if you're not using the box. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold it. So this would be like more of the traditional goblet. You're holding it in hands here, and then you squat. Yeah, squat on this motorcycle. Down and up on the side. Same thing, keeping the dumbbell <laughs> close. All the way down, all the way up. If you're using a kettlebell, I would just hold it by the horns, or you could flip it upside down. Same thing, squat, and then stand. <clears throat> now, the last one will be the uh, bar facing, dumbbell facing, kettlebell facing, backpack facing, whatever you got. Kettlebell is down on the floor. Too much stuff. Chest and deck on one side. Make sure your head is far enough away where you're not doing this. And then peeking. Far enough away to lay down. Back onto your feet. Small little jump over the top. Again, if you're going for the uh, kick out to plank version, same kind of thing. You'll kick out to plank, get back onto your feet, and then do a small hop over the dumbbell. Do me a favor. Take two minutes. Try a couple of those. We'll meet back up here. You can leave your mics unmuted. Ask me some questions if you got them. Who is your favorite Avenger? I'm going to do single arm cleans. Nobody? What? Who is your favorite Marvel superhero or Avenger? Captain America. Dustin. Dustin. Dustin? Is my favorite. What's his superhero? Or what's his uh, superpower? What's Dustin's superpower? Coaching. Yeah. Oh, look at you all up in that. And okay. drinking coffee and eating bread. Did you get asking, any bread? I'm asking everybody what their favorite, who their favorite superhero is. Favorite Jeff, superhero? Jeff said you because you're a superhero. Did you get um, any bread, Warren? No, I didn't get any bread. If he came here, he would have got some bread. I'll leave you some slices of bread here. Like a little mouse. I'll come over to your place and get some bread, Jeff. Just let me know when. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll probably need a break at some point. I'm going to have to uh, either step my burpees down or go outside to do them. What, Mom? I'm going to have to either step my burpees and my hops step over or I have to take it, it outside. What would step you over, that's fine. Or just disturb the neighbor underneath. Yeah. yeah. Show them to work out with you. I'm so tight. I'm just going to move slow. I'm just doing regular burpees because my hip flexors are stacked. I wish I could tell you that. That's it. There was a faster version, but I'm going to go as fast as I can. Which Warren, is... you know what this is? What? It's the world's tiniest violin. <laughs> I'm still here. Aw, oh, dang, Jeff. Slow. You're coming out with the cold jokes. This is a leisure wad. Leisure wad, for sure. Leisure wad. Maybe you should go to Leisure World and do the Leisure wad. <laughs> I don't think they'll let me in there. There's too many old people. They're, they're all under house arrest. They'll let me in. I just had a birthday. They closed but, down their post I, office and everything. I bet you Leisure World is locked up so tight. Like, is that what like, I think it is? No, it's actually. All right. Um, Mom, you good? Yeah. In my shirt, I'm good. I know to do what? the rows. What row? Mary, I'm good, yes. Uh, what's the order of the workout again? So. It's going to go your pull-up or bent-over row option first. Okay. Then it's going to go your squatting option, whether that's a dumbbell clean or a goblet squat. And then your last one will be the burpee, either, uh, well, ideally, <laughs> facing and jumping over. A uh, scaling option would be in-place regular burpees or in-place burpees, but only kicking out to a plank. Okay. So it'll go some type of pull-up or pull option, squat option, burpee option. Okay. And you'll go two, two, two. Then you'll add two reps to each, and then will go four, four, four. 666, so on and so forth, till the 15 minutes is up. Um, you guys can always have the option to set your own clock. Uh, I'll, of course, we'll set the clock here at the gym, and then I'll keep, uh, well, I'll say time, probably in a very, like, 
tired way, but I'll call out the time when yeah, the workout's done in 15. All right, do me a favor, um, mute your mics. I'm gonna mute mine too, um, cause I'm gonna play some music and I can't play music and listen to you guys at the same time. So last minute questions about any of the movements, the time constraint, uh, the, the adding the reps, <laughs> if you can change your arms, yes or no. Any questions about that stuff? Mom, you're <laughs> muted. You mute yours, will we be able to know the time? Uh, I'll probably come turn mine on before the, like, the last like 20 seconds. Okay, because I can set my own, but. You guys will, if, if not, you guys will see me collapse, and that's usually a good sign. <laughs> or or if, Warren's out, not, if Warren's I'll, not working I'll call out, it, I'll probably turn my volume back on the I'll last, like, 30 seconds, and then I'll call it out for you guys. And Warren, if you're not working out, maybe you can share uh, a clock I'm, out. I'm working out with you, man. Okay. See, you said you never get to work out with me. You're working out with me right now. <laughs> okay, mute yourself. You said right. you've never seen me work out before. Now's your opportunity. It's All right. Cool. Except for we're going to be working out too. We can't see you. Oh, that's not my fault. You got to get a big screen laptop. Okay, hold on. Wait until we music. go down to the store and we put it on the big music screen. Music queued up. Oh, yeah. Bumping that late 90s, early 2000 music. Okay, folks, uh, again, the workout is a 15 minute time to work out. We're gonna work out for 15 minutes no matter what. We're gonna go two, 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 some type of pull up option. So either pull ups if you got them, some type of rowing if you don't, either single arm or backpack option. Uh, we'll go into some squat, whether you're doing dumbbell squat cleans on one arm or if you're gonna do a goblet squat by holding it in both hands. And then the last option will be a bar facing, dumbbell facing, backpack facing, burpee over or in place as a scaling option or kick out to plank burpee as a scaling option, mix and match as you need to. Uh, no further questions, let's get to it. We'll be all done in 15 minutes and we'll all feel better about our day. We're starting in 10, I'll count you the last five, then I'm gonna wait a little bit to start my music. Five, four, three, two, and one, let's get to it, folks. I gotta mute myself now. You guys are all gonna beat me now.
Just under a minute left, guys. Just under a minute. And time, folks. Time, time, time. Are you trying to kill us, Justin? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Not dead. Oh. Dead. <coughs> Feel uh -oh, dead. Shortness of Not breath. Dead. Feel dead. Dry cough. I think I got it. A little fever? You're sweating a little bit. Um, I am quite warm. Me too. I think I have all the symptoms. I think, I think you, you have the CrossFit. Us over the Zoom. I think you have the CrossFit virus. Maybe uh, CrossFit induced coronavirus. <sighs> nice job, everyone. Oh, man. Those first couple rounds felt so good. Like, I was like, oh, cool. The two, the four, the six. Like, oh, this. I'll just go through them, no problem. And I think like the round of eight for me was like, oh, I lied. I'm going to slow down a lot. What do you think? Run it back? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I'll just, uh, just play my recording. And that would be my spot. Unmute yourself, Mom. He said he wants you to run it back. No, yeah. Just run the recording of me, and it'll be me running it back. I can actually do it. Peter. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was good. Ouch.
My strict pull-ups turned into somewhat of a jumping strict pull-up, but I figured it was better than ring the dumbbell rows. So it is it's all it's all good, just different. Oh man, okay. Uh, Miriam, how was that for you? It was good. I realized I was doing it wrong in the beginning a little bit, though. The for what squat, part? Because I put the dumbbell on my shoulder and I was doing the squat instead of picking it up each time. Oh, I see. I see. Well, you know what? Uh, if you're doing like the, the goblet squat variation, that's totally fine. Even if you're just holding it on the shoulder, I mean, that's just a, another way for you to go through movement. Something wrong with that necessarily. Okay. So just different. Just different. Uh -huh. Jeffrey and Betty, how'd that go? Betty really enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> Everybody. Halfway through, though, I quit sitting in the chair. We're prove she's still here. Halfway through, I quit sitting in the chair, and I just held on to my kettlebell and squatted with my kettlebell. Ooh, good job. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, and high fives. Everybody. High I bet five. you guys were all jealous that I could put chalk on my hand. <laughs> yeah, that's chalk, man. I can put ant chalk on my hand. Chalk, buddy. Miss you guys. What is that? Huh? I got this kind of chalk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can use that, technically. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Back to homeschooling. Yes. Out Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks for showing up. Right. See you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.